Hello everyone. I feel like it's been a minute since I've actually sat down and talked a bit. It's been a long time since I got my life together. I'm just kind of tired of not having a direction. You know what I mean? I've just been constantly worrying about what's gonna happen next and I just been so focused on the negative, I feel exhausted. I don't know what it is, but since the start of the new year, I've been clearing out my space, just reorganizing everything and just simplifying my life as much as possible and getting myself into a healthier routine. And mind you, this has been kind of hard because I got a lot of bad habits. One of those bad habits is constantly being my worst enemy. I don't know what it was, but something just kind of clicked in me like, Stop feeling sorry for yourself. Enough is enough. You're not getting anywhere in life if you're doing all this self-loathing. First thing I started to do was actually finally put my place together the way I want it. I had so many unnecessary things. I cleaned out my space, changed up the aesthetic a bit where it feels more calming and a bit more minimal. For the first time, I actually feel kind of at peace in my place. And I've been here for like, three years now. Like I said, I've been clearing up my space. I am almost done with that. There's only like one more thing that I needed to clear out, which are my closets. And that's what we're doing today. I'm doing a little bit of a closet spring cleaning. I cleared out my closets maybe a few months ago, maybe a little longer than that. And I got rid of a lot, but I'm looking at it again. And there's just so many things that I still don't wear. And I just like, I need to let it go. I didn't catch this on camera, but I literally spilled half my drink all over me. So now I feel like strawberry milk. I wanna go change, but first things first, a little unboxing. I've got some stuff from Walmart. Even though I'm cleaning out my closet, I did order myself a couple of clothes pieces, but these are pieces I feel like I needed because they're more of like staple pieces. So that's my excuse. I opened this one first. I saw these online and these style slippers are trending right now. I kind of just wanted some everyday, really comfortable slippers. Okay, one of those kind of slippers I could wear in and outside the house. This one was only $12.98. A lot of people said that these are comfortable, so. The next thing that I got. So I got myself this really cute two-piece top it's not necessarily super warm out so i like that it came out like a cute little little cover up i also got myself some skinny jeans the last time i was cleaning out my closet i got rid of all of my skinny jeans because they just didn't fit anymore and now all i have are like bootleg or straight leg jeans i've gotten some walmart jeans before and they are really comfortable specifically from the brand no boundaries also as nobo i'm pretty sure i got this pack of jeans for less than 20 dollars super affordable i think i might even just change into these because i gotta try it out to see if it fits next thing i got something i've been wanting for a while now which is like a really small skinny timeless looking gold watch and i came across this one from the brand time and true this was only eight dollars isn't this so cute cute you know just really simple classic it is a little bit bigger than my wrist i wonder if i can make this smaller but like this just pretty much goes with everything. This last thing I got, my eye on this for a little while. I've been wanting this for the longest time. It's the beautiful programmable temperature kettle. You saw already in the beginning of my video, I have the, uh, the air fryer, which is right there from Beautiful, which is a brand by Drew Barrymore, which they only sell at Walmart. I've had that air fryer for a while now and I love it. It's so good. I also got the toaster for it and I'm like, might as well pretty much like all my stuff to match as much as possible. And plus this 
design is very aesthetically pleasing That's, okay i got this specifically because i wanted to start drinking more tea and also my boyfriend loves drinking tea and he was saying like he's surprised i don't have something like this i actually might use it now might drink some jasmine tea to kind of give me some energy for the, for the closet clean out i'm about to do love that is white and gold i'm a gold girl obviously i'm so excited i wonder how long it takes for the water to like get really hot i like how i'm talking about spring cleaning and get rid of things i don't want but that means you can go out and shop and get the things that you need walmart is the place to be i love shopping at walmart honestly they have so many affordable things. I, coming from a person who has shopped at Walmart for a really long time, I've seen a lot of great changes in there. The fashion department especially. They got mad cute aesthetically pleasing things in the home department and I love that they keep their prices affordable. Before I hook this up, I'm actually gonna change out of these clothes because like I said, I spilled my drink all over me and I feel kind of gross. I'm actually just going to try out the stuff from Walmart just to see if it fits. Everything actually fits perfectly. Let me do a little, little fit check. Hmm. I was really scared that the jeans weren't going to fit because they are from the junior section, but I got a size three and they fit perfectly in this top. This top is mad cute too. I'm gonna link everything that I got from Walmart below in case you guys are interested in. Not exactly sure how long I have to boil it for, but hopefully it's not too long. In the meantime, I just want to share with you the other um, beautiful kitchen kitchen stuff so i just put them right here but i have the air fryer and they're all like touch screen once it's plugged in and the toaster as well i don't know i just love the aesthetic of it it's so good they work really great i think it's worth the money i hear it boiling that literally only took like a minute well it felt like a minute maybe like a minute or two for the water to completely boil oh that smells so good I'll let that sit for a few minutes and then in the meantime i am gonna go start cleaning after i finish cleaning i'm gonna give you guys a quick mini updated loft tour of my place because it's really really different if you watch my last um apartment tour it's such a huge difference from that let me tell you um so i'll give you guys a like a little quick tour of all the updates that i've made for the loft after I do the cleaning. Hopefully it doesn't take me that long. You know, you'd think it would have more taste of like the pomegranate, but it just tastes like regular old green tea. So I'm a little bit disappointed. I mean, it still tastes good. <laughs> Nor, come here. Stop walking. I'm gonna keep this, I'm gonna get rid of this. What the heck is this? What was I thinking? I don't be wearing pink like that. Gotta have a basic. Can't go wrong with having two basics. Yeah. Mmm, this one's too see-through. I really like it. I really wear that one. Yes, and yes. I love this, this is probably like one of my favorite pieces. Yes, keep, 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 keep. I don't, I don't find myself gravitating towards this right now, so I'm gonna let it go. Oh my god, yes, look at how cute this shirt is. I only want it once, what is wrong with me? Just a bag of clothes I'm supposed to go get tailored because they're too long. I really need to learn how to sew so I can do that myself. Sewing would just be a really good skill to have. I 
I got rid of a lot of jeans and these are ones that I definitely wear. Okay, now I'm in the process of all of my shorts. Closet looks clean and minimized. I got rid of a good amount of things, honestly. I have a good pile going on right here, right here. Some things I want to donate. I don't need this iron anymore. So that's a good amount that I got rid of. So I'm feeling good. Finished with closet number one, and now I'm going to closet number two. I got like two more closets. I moved all of these big axe closet that I used to have on this wall to another wall. Sorry if that made you dizzy, but um, I like it. I like it better this way. I'll give you guys a tour in a bit, but I'm just gonna clear this closet out. So this closet right here just has a lot of my sweaters and I have a lot of like sweatpants stuff in here. And then I'm gonna go through this closet, closet number two, which has which has all my makeup and stuff, which I'm not gonna go through. I have a lot of like clothes in here. So I'm gonna go through that real quick because it got full and I barely go in there. So I'm just like, how the hell did this get full? What am, what am I getting? What am I buying, right? Okay. That's closet. I have like mostly my cleaning supplies, but these two, three, I guess, are all shoes. And I'm gonna go through all that because I don't need that many shoes and I don't wear a lot of it and it makes me feel kind of bad that I don't wear a lot of my clothes and stuff. That's a good pile right there. I got rid of a lot in those closets. And that's not including the pile that's in my bedroom right now. I'm gonna put everything in a bag so I can go donate it. Today feels good. It feels like a pretty productive day. I got what I wanted to get done today and I put everything in a bag so that has to go to donation. I'm just gonna give you a quick updated loft tour of what my place looks like right now. If you wanna see what it looked like before, I'll link below my old apartment tour so you can really see what a difference it has been. But I'm gonna start off in the entryway. This is the entryway. I just got my hangers for all my jackets and then I got all my PAX closets right in here. It's pretty tall. Then when you turn walking from the entryway, I got my little like coat rack that I have here. And then you turn this way. It's a pretty open concept, but this little corner is the baby's corner. Got baby in there, chilling. We got Basil. Wanna say hi, Basil? <laughs> go get it. Go get your toy. Go get it. Okay. Anyways, we got the kitchen area here. I'm actually getting a new dining table, so you guys are gonna see that soon. I can't do much with the kitchen, honestly. I can't paint the cabinets or anything, so it is what it is. I got some plants up there something i did do myself are these peel and stick tiles right here it's actually textured so it looks it looks really good i felt like it brightened up the area of my place and then turning around this way we got the living room area i got some storage for behind the couch i have a lot of things in there and then i got a new couch here it's a u-sectional and i love it it's so comfortable Got a coffee table. I don't really love this, but it is what it is. I need a rug. That's what I need right now. I just need a rug. Here is the TV unit. I got a faux olive tree right here. Got this lamp. What are these called? Those hanging lamp things? I don't even know, but got that. And then you turn around to the office area. So this used to look like that. It used to be like this color wood. And it came off like a very orange tone, so I end up painting it literally the same color as the wall. And to give it a little bit of a contrast, I painted this wall white just so that it has a flow with this wall because this wall is white. And 
I put up these moldings with my boyfriend. They were fairly easy to make and it makes, it gives some character to the place. I really love it. But this is the desk area. I really simplified it. Put some greenery, some natural textures here with the woven basket. And this is where I edit. And then we get to the bedroom. The bedroom is something I have worked on and off for like the longest time. And I feel like I finally got into a place where I really love it. So I brought the old living room rug into the bedroom. A friend of mine gave me this frame for free and it looks so good in here. Got some matching side tables. It's just, it's just a vibe. I got a bookshelf for all my books and a little door mirror. And yeah, that's pretty much it. You can see that I went with a very neutral vibe. I tended to stick to the colors of like white, beige, olive greens. I'm really happy with my space. Feels good, feels calm, feels clean. I'm gonna make myself another cup of tea. <laughs> I'm just so excited about this. I don't know if it's because I'm getting older, but I get very excited about like kitchen stuff. So I'm gonna end the vlog here. It's been a good day. I got things done. We were productive. I'm feeling good. I feel like in a way better mindset than I have been in years. Maybe this video will get you in a spring cleaning mood. As you can see, it took like an hour, no, actually like two hours of my day. So it didn't really take me that long. I'm gonna link everything that I got from Walmart below if you guys are interested in checking that out. Oh my gosh, has this been sticking out the whole entire time? Oh, that's gonna irk me when I edit this. Anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this vlog. If you wanna see more, don't forget to subscribe and give me a thumbs up if you liked it. And yeah, I'll see y'all next time. Bye.